All right, time for another video. Um, and I'm a little lengthy, huh? But uh, <clears throat> here's that um, uh, 372 clone, um, G372 Holtzforma. And um, to give you a final look at what we kind of did, um, didn't get all drastic and crazy with the ports, just port matched them. Basically the biggest is opening up these lowers. Um, as you can kind of see what was going on. Uh, and these transfers were not staggered and I gave them a stagger. So I just did the primaries back here and this one towards the exhaust made them fire first. And so that's what we're looking at on this. Um, it did open up the, the exhaust a little bit. So that's kind of there. And did give the intake a little bit more. Um, since I could go up, I decided to give this one some lung-ish uh, stuff or mouse ears um, and, uh, and keep the bottom the same and then take off the bottom to get, achieve my numbers. So uh, the numbers we started out with was stock back in the last video was exhaust 101, transfers 125, um, and then intake at 74 and uh, piston weight before any modifications whereas 84 grams and so that's kind of what we're looking for i'm looking at now afterwards that was with a base gasket by the way now deleting the base gasket oh the squish stock was around 42 to 45 thousandths kind of dependent on where it was at uh, one side seemed to be a little tighter than the other so might be a little imbalance in here um, but I did not go and try to cut the band at all uh, to try to balance anything out. So after it was, we, we basically got uh, the base gasket uh, removed and uh, that got us down to 20, I think nine, 28, 29. Uh, geez, I didn't write that down, but uh, we're down to 28, 29. So we're below 30 on, on our squish. Right, and so this is what we're looking at. Um, now, numbers after uh, doing this, uh, put the exhaust back at 101. It was basically the gasket made it uh, two degrees roughly. Um, so instead of 103, it could have ran that way, but um, put it back at 101. Uh, Stag of the transfers, it's now 124, 127 is what we got as far as firing of the transfers uh, blended all the edges and the intake is at 80 and we took it off of here and then lightening the piston like I did the last uh, 2166 John Sered we uh, I, I think I like that and I'm going to trim that uh, down um, as well uh, I think I like that um, that modification because uh, when you put it in here and it comes down to bottom it doesn't block off it gives more feeding area for the transfer area so that's what it's going to kind of look like roughly i think i like it uh, the other one pulled strong and hard so this one should as well so the weight savings on this started out at 84 grams stock and uh by doing that is now 79 grams is uh what we got so anyways that's the quick of it. I'm going to pause it here, put it all back together, and bring you back when it's fired up and running. And now the moment of truth. We'll find out what happens. <laughs> so uh, tuned it up. The carburetor is, it's a Hilux. I'm trying it. I took it apart, cleaned it. Uh, seals look good, but I'm pretty sure that eventually I'm going to have to change this. Um, it's already leaned out on the high side and it still sounds like it's burbling rich it's like right on that you know, that uh, side of like being almost perfect so and we end up putting a nice big uh using one one inch pipe and um going ahead i don't know why it's sticking to that but we went and, and put a one inch pipe in this one so it's got a big old fatty outlet in there and uh and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and make a, a few cuts so you guys can 
uh, see if it uh, minimal changes. It is definitely running a lot smoother versus the, the real vibrating parts. So I'm not sure what it was. Everything will actually look good in there. So not sure why it just was when I first initially took that out of the box and fired it up. It, it was like it jumping all over the place. Just, so who knows what happens. It's a Duke's chain, by the way, and I actually like them, but uh, that was interesting that it got that loose from just a little bit of a bore cut into, and then hit a, spot, a hard spot and jumped on it. Um, yeah, that was that was quite interesting. Why I have that much that much slop into the chain after that one uh, cut? Maybe I wasn't paying attention on the other ones, but it didn't look like it. But uh, yeah, it pulls good. It, uh, it you know in the hands and it is, you can't keep it capture this on camera, but it it wants to pull, and a lot of that is the the tooth uh, cut and and whether it's got an aggressive break or not. But it wants to pull into it and dig into the wood as equally as that twenty one sixty six John Thread that I had basically turned into an. Uh, a big bore 372 XP. It, I, without having them barred up the same side by side, they're pretty close right now. So 52 millimeter on that one, 50 millimeter on this one. This is the standard one um, that we looked at. So anyways, yeah, it's now definitely a good solid work saw. 
it's a 24 inch bar chain by the way so anyways uh hope you guys enjoyed that and uh until the next time give you a, a little a little uh shot of the, the little buck that i got this year so uh that was uh, last week so anyways good for you all stopping by thank you and have a uh actually have a wonderful day yeah yeah that's it have a wonderful day all right later